Reproduction is necessary for the continuation of any species, but different species reproduce in different ways. Humans reproduce sexually, which requires two biological parent organisms, a male and a female. The biological structures in males and females allow for the fertilization of gametes and the internal development of an offspring. The main male reproductive organs are testes, which have the job of producing gametes. Gametes are reproductive cells, also called sex cells. The male gamete is sperm. Sperm cells are produced in the testes. The male structures are designed to deliver gametes out of the body. Tubes connected to the testes help to transport sperm for delivery to the female reproductive system. The female reproductive system consists of three major organs, the ovaries, fallopian tube, and uterus. Ovaries have the job of producing female gametes. The female gametes are called eggs. Once every 28 days, an egg is released by one of the ovaries. The egg enters the fallopian tube, where it travels in hopes of meeting a male gamete. When sperm and egg unite, it is called fertilization. The fallopian tube is the site of internal fertilization. If fertilization takes place, an offspring begins to grow and travels towards the uterus. Some species are designed for external growth and development, like birds that lay eggs. In humans, offspring grow and develop internally in the uterus until ready for birth. During growth and development, a special structure called the placenta helps to nourish the embryo. While males and females have anatomical differences, their reproductive systems are both designed to produce the gametes necessary to form new life. When discussing reproductive biology, it's important to note that terms like mother, father, and parent have important cultural meanings that do not necessarily correspond to genetic relationships. Likewise, biological sex is determined genetically, but does not determine one's gender identity.